prior to today like i didn't really upload for like a whole week so i thought you guys deserved two videos today so and also the the past video that i uploaded i kind of like spoke bad so my apologies for that but for this one we're gonna try very hard and analyze very hard as well how to say it i think so but anyways this is actually a pretty good match as well that i saw and as the auto begins we're gonna see the I guess the the blue lines there going to going to town on those blocks and you no know, spitting out the the rest of the red ones there while the other side unfortunately the other blue lines didn't really get that many blocks in but that's okay but that's okay this is going to be a very exciting match uh spoilers alert the the blue lines kind of goes crazy on the on both of the goals there but also red plays really good defense and as the match starts we can see that this red alliance robot has a huge basket so let's see how how they play that here well in this match here red alliance i think is playing one robot on defense other one's scoring right so very early lead for the red alliance on scoring as the match starts right they didn't score anything really in auto but early lead for them in the actual driver control period because one of their robots was defending right but now now as this robot you know is is really focused on this left side robot the the right side blue robot is able to you know kind of get their match loads going and kind of return those blocks back right so i think this is, might be a good time for the for this red robot to kind of head back and and get some get some of their own blocks right because i think if they have the if they have clear sorting then they could be you know have picked up a lot of blocks already that, that they're ready to score so i think that's a, a very big advantage for color sorting uh teams where you know you can send your robot, robot to go defend at first and then when you're done defending you come back you're already ready to score because you have those blocks so you know i'm also quite uh new to this game as all of you guys are so i'm still trying to get an understanding of what strategy really looks like here but yeah i think this this blue line is showing us a pretty good deal of how to play this match here i think towards the end here they're kind of uh hoarding this this side so red alliance can't score anything in right which is nice and they can't knock anything out either because you know they're hoarding one of the sides so yeah i think blue lines did a good job you know filling up this entire goal blue and this side here the control zone is reds and i think blue is going to try to push that push that out right and that's exactly what they do here they kind of try to try to push that out and make the control zone balanced instead of being in one team's favor here and you can see here i think the the flaw the major flaw here as blue lines hits the park is that the red team here didn't really use their basket to their advantage and they didn't they didn't really clear the field of blocks right i think they earlier on they could have cleared uh, blue lines ball blocks if possible or they could have just grabbed their own red, red alliance blocks as they're heading over so they can have blocks to be scored right because because there's not really that many blue lines blocks to be grabbed right anyways so that's kind of a uh, unfortunate so but like that's not a big deal as long as you collect your own blocks as you're going so then you can come back and score them which i think is how it's meant to be played if you're playing one on offense one on defense right sorry one like defending the other team and one scoring so i think that's that's how you're supposed to play it and and yeah i think the blue lines played extremely well here um not really getting bothered by all this defense that's being played by by this red basketball but just you know kind of slowly getting those match loads in i noticed there's a ton of blocks here i think I think if one alliance wants a really big advantage, I think all they need to do is come around the other side and then just push all these blocks to their side, right? You just come around and then you just push all of them this this way. Um, yeah, I don't really see there's any, like, whoever does it first, I think has a, ma a major, like, block control, right? Unless you're running match loads. Like, if, you, if, you don't, if you're not really running much match loads, then, like, if you have a big lane like this with a ton of blocks, I would just run to the other side and push all of them to your side so then the opponents can't really be scoring. But anyways, like all the red blocks in this case are already on blue side. So the red lines didn't really have any blocks just laying around that they can score. But I feel like you really need a good match loader and a match load mech this season, right? Because um, a lot of the blocks are introduced in the field, into the match. But anyways, that's uh, about it. And thank you.